my next uh, question is regarding we are coming back to the SQE. It's regarding qualifying work experience. So now in order to qualify as a solicitor of England and Wales, you have to have a degree, which doesn't need to be a law degree. You uh, need to pass two exams, SQE1 and SQE2, unless you are exempt from any of those. And you need to have two years of qualifying legal experience plus uh, a good meet the character requirements. So two years of qualifying legal experience can be obtained in the UK or overseas. It does matter, but it must be signed off by a solicitor. So with the view that the bulk of our students and we specialized working with the foreign qualified lawyers. So uh, what they need to think of at the earlier stage when they start their career uh, with the view that then they will have to provide this qualifying work experience from their local law firms. You as a person who also works, you are British, but you work abroad, you should know how it, it's working there. Mm -hmm. So what would be your recommendations? I mean, one of the first recommendations I would have is to, to basically have the support of your firm, have the support of someone senior who can really attest to the kind of work that you've done during your time there so that they can support your experience. It's one thing to say that you have such experience. It's another to actually have that supported by whoever is supervising you on a daily basis. Uh, so your manager, you know, senior partner or something like that, if they can support you later down the line, that's fantastic. Having some kind of record. Uh, so just, just basic records that people will have anyway will be things like labor contracts or reference letters, job descriptions, and then also items related to your work itself. Obviously, we may stray a little bit into issues with confidentiality if you start keeping documents from all of your cases, but certain things that you've drafted may be significant. If you created precedent documents, for example, that don't have names, that could be a, you know, a very good thing to keep a record of, as well as things that you've created for a particular case, as long as you redact it so it's uh, uh, anonymous. Yeah, the SRA potentially can request you to show some samples of your work. So at least that's what they specify. You can always remove the names as well, but the, you should always keep the confidentiality as yeah. a very important point in your mind. Thank you very much. And I think we can start with our lecture.